Here we go, all the way to the tippity top. <gasps> what? Airplane! Oh no! Doggy! Bad doggy! Bad doggy, you better run. Howdy, partner. And welcome back to Seven Days to Die with yours truly, Paulina Punchwood, the new sheriff in town, sporting her new duds. We've got a new poncho here and a new green cutoff shorts, although technically they're not new. We found them in someone's drawer. They're slightly used, but they were a perfect fit. Couldn't pass them up, and they're nice and cool. And we also made this uh, blunderbuss right in the last episode. Now that we have a forge and we're in the metal age, we're making some progress finally and getting out of this dang stone age. Paulina feels like a cave woman, for goodness sake. So it's about time, right? And thank you very much for all the comments and the likes on the last video and the hints as well. We got plenty of tips to survive the seventh day horde, which is coming tonight. It is day seven, 5.30 in the morning. So we are going to be uh, beset tonight by the horde. And one of the tips was to hang out. Whoop. Well, one of the tips was to remove the lowest rung of the ladder so the zombies can't climb, but there we go, Paulina. <laughs> that was harder than it looked. And someone suggested that we sit right here in the vent, which was my original plan anyway, and shoot through this grating at the zombies up above. But we got to remove that panel up above the, uh, above the bars, which we can go do right now, or perhaps later. I'm thinking about maybe heading back to the forge first. And making up some more iron tools. Like I said, I want to get out of the Stone Age. I feel like a cave woman here. Yeah, this right here is going to take some time. So it would make more sense to go make an iron pickaxe, right? Is that what we want? Iron pickaxe? Can we make a... Yes, we can. An iron pickaxe is 20 forged iron. And we also want to make a an iron fire axe. 20 forged iron. We have 9 on us right now. So we're going to have to go and whip up some more at the forge, which we can do. So let's roll. Oh wait, let's check the trees. Do they grow? No. Apparently they take a few days, which makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, I think tonight what we'll do is just sit in the bunker and hide out and shoot through that grating. I mean, I, I have a feeling this horde, and I'm putting my hands up in quotes, I'm doing the air quotes, is gonna be like 10 zombies. <laughs> Uh, we could probably just sit outside and fight them, right? Out in the open. I bet we could. I bet Pollyanna could. She's pretty tough. Especially now that we have our blunderbuss and we have this new club with barbed wire on it. Paulina might be able to just go toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with these stinkers tonight. But let's give this um, let's give this technique a try. Where we sit down in the vent and shoot up through the grate. And then we can clean up any stragglers in the morning. We can put some spikes out too. Ow! Oh, that hurt. Sorry, Pauline, I didn't see that cactus there. <laughs> we can put some wooden spikes out around that vent top as well, right? And uh, the zombies will walk into it and damage themselves. I probably shouldn't be gathering this material right now with the, with the uh, stone axe. Let's go make our new tools. I'm sorry, Pauline. I know I'm doing a lot of sprinting around here. There you go. Have some uh, yucca aid. Oh no! Forge is still burning. I can hear it. I guess we left it running all night. Now, one of the other tips was to remove this um, the lower rungs, which I have done back at base, and this will prevent zombies climbing up. Right? Yes, that makes sense. As long as Paulina can hop up there, yes, she can. Hey, yeah, we left the darn thing running all night, didn't we? All right, let's get some more iron going in there, and we're gonna throw we're gonna throw wood frames in here. Apparently, wood frames burn longer, and they burn more efficiently. So that was another tip. Keep those tips coming. I very much appreciate them. All right, let's make some more forged iron. We're just gonna do all of it. Forty-four, bang them out. Paulina, stop! Stop hitting the forge. It's not gonna cook faster. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you. Stop it. Say, hey, I said stop. All right, let's check it. She has no patience. Oh, it's done! Oh, sorry, my bad. Thanks for letting us know. All right, turn it off. Let's save on fuel. We now have 53 forged iron. That is plenty to make this uh, the new tools. I know you're so excited. Let's go ahead and do it. But actually, I've been thinking. I think we should whip up a, uh, a bedroll first. In case uh, Paulina does die in the seventh, day, seventh night horde tonight in the bunker, 
and uh, maybe the bunker gets overrun. I'd rather not have her keep respawning in the same location and getting killed over and over. So I think this makes sense. I think it's a wise decision. So now we just have to put it down. No, no, Paulina. I don't think that's a good decision to put your very highly flammable bedroll on top of the floor. <laughs> I mean, it might be cozy and warm to sleep on it, but uh, it may be a little too warm. All right, let's, um, let's get serious here. Let's put it down right there. It's fine. Okay. Um, let's grab those wood frames. I think we're done with this, right? And let's go ahead and whip up our new fire axe and move into the, uh, with the, the metal age. There we go. That's going to take 2 minutes and 44 seconds. Yowza. And the iron pickaxe is also 20 forged iron and 2 minutes and 44 seconds. All right. Well, at least it's consistent, but it's going to take some time. Let's, uh, let's go outside and get prepared to use our new iron tools. This is very exciting. So I'm hoping they're a little more efficient than the stone variety. Look at that. Can't even hit that thing. <laughs> oh, what is that? What is that? That's a tower. I did not see that tower before. Is that like a, uh, a fire tower? Like a ranger tower type of thing? Or is it a water tower? Do we have binoculars? We don't have binoculars. It looks like it's metal. I think that's a water tower. Oh, I wonder if it's filled with water. <laughs> I don't know. We should go check it out. But before we go, how many waxes does it take to destroy one of these wood um, stumps? Let's see. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. There's like one little hit point left for that last whack. Yep. It's very consistent. It's four wax. Oh, the fire axe is done. All right, great. Let's compare it to the stone axe. Let's go find another stump around here. Here, stumpy, stumpy. There you are. One, two, three, four. What the heck? This is an iron axe. It should be more efficient, shouldn't it? <laughs> is it getting more wood with each whack? That's possible. Oh, that's weird. Um, wait a second. Maybe this is not a construction tool. Maybe it's a mining tool. That's very possible. Do more damage with mining tools and harvest resources faster by using items from this group. Does it say what this is here in the description? Fire axe is good for harvesting wood and has a better chance to dismember than most weapons. That's cool. Oh, yeah, it is. Mining tool. It's a mining tool. Okay. Well, then I think what we're going to have to do is bump up our mining. But that's... Oh, wait a second. Miner 69. Oh, five points. We can do it. Okay, there we go. Miner 69er. Let's try it now, Pauline. One, two, three. Yes. Okay, that's what it is. It's a mining tool and mining 69er. Miner 69er will increase the damage and make it more efficient and we have to get our mining skill up but that only that'll go up on its own so we can maybe dismember zombies that'd be kind of cool but you know what i want to save it for the wood let's use our new club oh that felt bad there we go that's what we're looking for the knockdown this guy's got a helmet so he's pretty tough but i think we can do it got him utility worker Oh, I wonder if he's working on the tower over here. Let's go check out this tower. And yeah, we'll grab uh, we'll grab some loot on the way over. I think our pickaxe is just about done too. Yeah. Three, two, one. Huzzah! Let's try that on some stones. But first, let's get rid of this dude. Wham! It does kind of stun them for a second, and it looks like it has some pretty good knockdown. Uh, I don't want your candlestick. However, I would like to get some fat for more torches. So let's see if we can get some fat. This guy looks pretty lean. Uh, there we go. One little piece of fat. He was pretty lean, wasn't he? And let's make a torch. Torchy, torchy, torchy. One torch. All right. Now, let's go... Let's go check out this tower. And in the meantime, on the way over, let's look for a stone. I'll try this new pickaxe. Uh, 
I don't see any boulders nearby. What the heck? All right, well, we'll look around later. What is this? Oh, there's water here. So I guess it is a water tower. Seems to have a leak or something. Now, can we get up here? I don't see a ladder. <laughs> How the heck do you get to the top of the water tower without a ladder? Um, hmm, I guess we'll have to make one. Yeah, I want to get to the top of this thing. It has like a flat top. Yeah, I think we might be able to, to use this tonight. I think so. Let's let's get up there. Can we attach a ladder to it? Oh, sure can. Put it right here. And we're going to go all the way up. I just need some more ladders. Let's make 10 more ladders. That's 40 wood. Yikes. I don't want to use up all my wood here because we're going to need it for spikes. Although I'm wondering, maybe we can just surround this thing with spikes too, right? Down here by the bottom. And my guess is all the zombies milling about down here trying to get to us at the top will uh, will take damage and potentially die, or at least get damage enough where we can kill them off easily. Look at this, right on up. Look at you go, Paulina. Like a professional. Uh-oh. I hear the uh, noon bugs, the noonday bugs are out. Ooh, don't look down. <laughs> Paulina does not like heights. There we go, all the way to the tippity top. <gasps> what? Airplane! The plane! Over here! Over here! Oh no, are you kidding me? Not now. Just dropped an airdrop. Dang it, we don't have time for this. <laughs> we don't have time for this. Hey, we don't have time for this. What a tease. Alright, let's get up. Up, 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 up! Ooh, ooh, got a little lag up here. Look how far we can see. Holy smokes, this is so cool. It's nice and flat, too. It's perfectly flat, in fact. Yeah, we can just put a railing around this thing, right? Somehow. Can I put a railing around? I think I might have to get in the ladder. Let's try to get it back on that ladder. Oh, I don't like ladders in these games. Uh, let's put this right here. Yes, yeah, so we can climb up and then... G well, oh! Oh! Do not fall! There we go. That's perfect. Perfect. Um, in fact, we could just put a walk all the way around here, like a little lip. So if there are screamers and crawlers and uh, climbers or whatever the heck they're called, the spidery guys, this will prevent them from getting up, right? I don't know. That's just my theory. And I won't be able to read your comments because we're going to do this tonight. <laughs> and your comments will be a day late. Let me know whether or not that is actually accurate. All right, how far is that airdrop? That's not bad. What time is it? Oh, man, 1240. We should go for it. Let's go for it. Yeah, we're going to do it. Let's uh, hop on that carefully now. Can you sprint down? Oh, you can sprint down. That's cool. All right, yeah, let's go. Let's go grab this uh, this airdrop show up on my little radar? It sure does. And we can collect some resources on the way. So we can be prepared for tonight. Like yucca. And wood. Yeah, we don't even have to go back to the bunker, right? We can just stay right here tonight. Put up on top of that tower. We can shoot down at the zombies beneath us. Yeah! Alright, new plan! It should be fun! Should be fun! Hello, ma'am! Um, have you seen the airdrop around here? We're, just, we're gonna go get it. Oh. Screw that. I like that knockdown. That's cool. Excuse us. Just get to the airdrop. I saw it first. Ooh, a gun. And some ammunition. Very nice. Don't need that rotten flesh, though. Oh, no. I think that airdrop is in that wasteland area, which we hate so much. With those stinking, crazy, nasty birds. I cannot get this guy's head. Bad angle. Let me get the height advantage here. There we go. Still missed. Oh! Oh, you lucky dog. Got a lucky punch in. Oh, man. Climbing up on everything here. Not cool. Over here, big guy. Oh, he's leaving. All right, I see the airdrop. I see the uh, parachute. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Something is slowing me down here, too. 
This guy's giant. There we go. That's what we wanted. Here they are. The harder they fall, right? What you got? Nah, dude. I need food. Definitely use some food. Oh, here we go. It's a boulder. Let's try our new pickaxe on it. Okay, it looks good. Mining tools are up to level two. Yay! Looks like we're getting a lot of stuff with every whack. Well, not every whack. But it seems to be more efficient. I mean, it's definitely doing more damage than the stone axe, and that makes sense. It is a pickaxe after all. <laughs> oh, no! Doggy! Bad doggy! Bad doggy! You better run. Oh, you are so going down. Mm. You stinking mutt! No! Back off! Oh! Shucks, that hurt. Did not expect that out here. Thank goodness it was alone. Holy cow. All right, bandage up, Paulina. Whew, level 10. We made level 10 by killing a stinking zombie Doberman Pinscher. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was scary. And now we're back in this wasteland. Oh man, how much farther do we have to go? All right, it's not too far, but I hate this biome. There's, uh, there are landmines here. I don't really know what they look like. I can't believe we're going after this thing in the seventh day horde. But we have time. We have time. Just go nice and slow. Are we healing right now? Yes, we are healing. We did not get a disease. Oh, there's a dog over there. Can I kill him with the blunderbuss if he gets right up close? Man, he's guarding the, the crates right there. All right, let's, uh, shocks, let's heal again. Oh! Was that the dog that exploded? Because that would be awesome. No, the dog is still there. Drat. Do I have any more aloe? I do not have any more aloe. All right, well, we can't get aloe here in the wasteland. But we'll make more bandages later. Uh... You know what we're going to do? There's a nasty bird over there, too. Let's take this stuff out of our um, out of our hands. So if we do happen to die, we're not going to lose it all. Oh, you. What are you, biker? Huh? Nah, I can't afford to get hit right now. Walk into a mine. <laughs> Terrible timing, this airdrop. They did this on purpose. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Knock him down. All the same size when we're lying on the ground. Or something like that. Oh no, 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 bird! Ah! Ugh. We missed. I don't know how he missed, but I'm glad he missed. <laughs> oh no, here he comes again! Wrecked him. One shot. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, we gotta go. We gotta go now. It's getting late. Dog's still there. Wait, is there more than one dog? Is that a dog right there, too? It's a zombie. Oh, my gosh. I hate this biome. Oh, dang it. He got us, and I think he infected us, too. Oh, you little punk. Infected by a punk. It's okay. It's just the first stage. Nothing happens during the first stage. We'll be fine. We'll get to our antibiotics in the bunker. I've got a dog here and multiple Zeds. I think we can kill that dog with the gun, don't you? But maybe we can just sneak in and grab the loot and get out of here. Without that dog spotting us. Wait, where is it? Uh, what is that noise? Well, that's not it. That's a bunch of bricks. Where's the crate? It's on the other side of this tree. Oh, gosh, the dog is right there. Undetected. We're still undetected. Is there anything we can climb up on? Kill that dog, like maybe that car over there? Let's try. I don't know. Can dogs climb cars? I don't know. I hope not. It's not much of a car. I can't see him now. I hear... I hear panting. Doggy panting, but I don't see him. I hope there's only one. I think we can take one. 
It's not coming up the hill. Alright, we gotta go for it. We can't stay here forever. If he spots us, we'll... Oh, I think that might be a mine right there. That hubcap... Oh, we're being hunted by this fellow over here. Oh, it's just a punk. We can take the punk out. Take out the punk. Quickly, 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 punk. Oh, you rotten. Rotten punk. He's a rotten punk. There we go. Finish him off. Nice and not quiet. Running shoes. Eh, sure. Oh, no. We gotta make space, though. Oh. Uh. Huh? I heard a doggy. Uh, we're gonna need to make space, so I'm gonna have to drop some stuff. I don't want that. Don't want that. Because if we're gonna get in there quick, can't be messing around with our inventory. Man, the ambient sounds here are just so creepy. Alright, there it is. Does it ever disappear? Oh, there's the dog! Uh, uh, he's right next to it! Alright, there he goes. He's going the other way. Okay. Grab it! Grab it all! We got it all! Go run! What's the matter? What's the matter, Paulina? She's laughing, I think. Oh, maybe she's... Oh, she's cold! What? It's 44 degrees here! Oh, no! No dog! Bad! Get him! I can't hit him! Get wreck you, stupid dog! Okay. <sighs> now we're gonna run. Just watch out for landmines. I think we can survive a landmine, though. With full health. That was a lot of ammo that I didn't want to use, but <laughs> panicked. Was that the same dog or a different dog? I don't even know. Only this is getting cold here. Why is it so cold in this place? We're not being chased by anything, we're good. All right, let's get that ax back over here. We're gonna grab some of this wood since we have all these trees. Just watch out for those stinking birds though, they do sneak up on you. All right, here we go. Take this tree right here on the edge. It looks like a lot of wood, oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby, this is what we needed. Tree wood. Oh, this lovely wood. We got a lot of pine cones, too. <laughs> so we can grow some trees eventually. Timber! Drop that right on a dog, Paulina. Yeah! Alright, um, how much wood do we have now? 564. It is now 6 o'clock. Holy smokes, we still have time. But I think we might have to call it quits in this episode now because it's getting kind of long. And I'd like to do the Horde Night with you guys in a separate episode. Oh! Oh! I thought that was a glitch. A lighting glitch. It wasn't. It was lightning. Oh, man. We're out of energy. Paulina, have a sip of Yucca Aid. Alright, I think we're done here. We are totally full. Um, do we get any antibiotic in that? Oh, we got antibiotics in the uh, airdrop. Great. Use it up. Use one. Perfect. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha! You punk! We win! Now, let's grab some aloe. Oh, I can't. Darn it. I'll just drop the eggs, I guess. Grab some aloe so we can make some new bandages. And I'm gonna head back toward the tower right there. And then whip up an awesome base on top of it for next time. Just make sure we have enough wood. We got plenty of wood to do this tonight. Oh! Ooh! That's some scary stuff, that lightning! It's cool, though. Yeah, let's get to that tower. We're gonna whip it up. And then in the next episode, it'll be all Horde. All Horde. The whole episode. Well, I don't know about the whole episode, but... <laughs> I think it's gonna be a long night, so it's probably not a bad idea to separate it into a different episode, you know what I mean? Feathers! Dude, I can get those from, uh bird's nest. Okay, we're back. Climb on up there, Paulina. Let's get to the top. I should probably not do that in third person. Like, it's really hard enough as it is. <laughs> oh! No, 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 Paulina! Oh, wow. Wow. Um, it seems like I'm off a little bit here. What's going on? Alright, there we go. That's better. 
Don't want it to climb a ladder in third person and switch back because it throws something off. Okay. Oh, the crickets are out. 7 o'clock p.m. And now, Paulina is going to get this tower prepared for the night. Seventh day horde. We're going to have a nice uh, lip right here all the way around the edges. And I might even put a nice safety rail up here as well. But we're going to need a lot more of these wood frames. There we go. Make a bunch of these. All right. Yeah. So with that, my friends, we're going to call it quits. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. So have a good day. Bye-bye. Oh, before we go, you guys probably want to see what we got in the airdrop, right? So we got first aid kits. We got antibiotics, which we knew. We got some painkillers. We got a uh, three beakers that we can use for, like, cooking and stuff, right? That's cool. Um, we have an AK-47 schematic. That is awesome. And I think, I think that was everything. Oh, woo! Nasty. Nasty storm incoming. Perfect for the seventh day horde. So let's go ahead and put some of these out too. This ought to be fun. Yeah, I'm going to surround this whole thing in wood spikes. Maybe not the whole thing, but I'll put a few out. They're pretty expensive. Okay, so now it is truly time to call it quits. See you guys next time. Seventh day horde on its way in two hours. <laughs> we'll see you then.